Princess Catherine's recent video message detailing her heartbreaking cancer diagnosis has still not stopped the conspiracy theorists. In fact, it's gotten so bad, even the BBC has had to comment. It's time to break all this down and properly debunk it. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and I just don't understand what people think is going on. Why on earth would they fake her cancer diagnosis? There are people out there who think she's faking having cancer, and it's really starting to bug me. I gotta be honest. So I wanted to go through all these theories. I do try to hear everything, I always do, but I am not buying this, guys, and I hope you aren't either. There's just no evidence, and I wanna break down all of it. Now, here's the video in question, and now the biggest accusation is, well, this is a video from seven years ago. Look, it's the same shirt, same hair as the new Proof of Life video. They made a deep fake based on Kate from 2017. And look, 6,000 people sharing this, 2 million views. This is wild. Now, I can tell you already, her hair is not the same. Her hair is much longer. As it goes, you can, you can no, let's, let's really do the homework then if we're gonna try to humor this. It's not the same hair. Uh, it's not similar style. That's what she does, but you can tell longer hair. Also, she's younger in this video. She's clearly younger in this video. You can tell she's, you know, it's been several years in this. Also, sure, it might be the same shirt, but the lines are thicker in this one. She may just like that. Maybe this got washed either way. Okay, she's wearing the same shirt. You can tell this shirt is a little baggier on her now. She's definitely lost some weight and that's obviously not trying to judge. It's only trying to reiterate the issue of she's going through chemo. My God, people, what are you doing? This is shameful. There's no evidence to me. I have looked, I've really looked that this is some sort of AI video and I don't understand why people are still assuming. What is the goal? What are they trying to, to, to prove? I don't, I don't get it. It would be so much work, so expensive, and there's nothing here. So they keep cutting to this video, right? This is the video that they're trying to show. Uh, this always depresses me seeing how nice these three were together, and now Megan had to be the wedge to divide them all. Um, but here's that video, okay? Here's, her, here's the video in question where she's talking, and okay, she's in the garden. Okay, noted. Now, the, the biggest thing I've heard people say, and, and I'll be honest, I've humored this, why aren't the flowers moving? That's the other thing people have said. Andy, come on, be fair. Why aren't the flowers moving? Okay, and I looked at it. It does seem like they're static. It does. Until I looked at this video again, she just doesn't have any wind in her garden. My God, look at the, you all believe this video, right? Why aren't the branches moving? Why aren't the branches moving? She comes back, look, hello? This branch of the, why, why, aren't, why aren't their branches moving? In the deep fake video. Uh, if you wanna have it that way, then you gotta have it the way. Look at this. They're not moving. I really was humoring this, but I'm like, look, I think, I think their garden just has no wind. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Plus, I did a breakdown of that video. I wanted to really, I wanted to see this through. Could this be real? I sped it up and I'll acknowledge the, the stuff background isn't moving. I don't know, but if you watch it super sped up, you will see the lighting is shifting. Now, why would the light shift like that, Andy? And why would it also shift on the bench? Because that's clouds over the sun. I don't know what else you guys need. That's clouds over the sun. You can see the light shift. When you speed it up, there is clear light cloud adjustments. And sure, there was a moment I'm like, well, why aren't these flowers moving? That is that is odd. Could they put a fake background behind her? And then I went back and looked at the video in question. Everyone's like, well, this is where they stole it from. And none of these damn plants are moving. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Maybe just the, the royal palace, whatever, all these grounds don't have very windy days. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys, but I've purposely really looked. And then I looked even deeper. I was like, all right, well, let's look. They, I looked at another footage. Here they are at another uh, outside uh, thing and nothing's moving. No branches are moving. The camera's moving this time. They did it handheld, but they love this out of focus shot. Now is all this deep fake too? Like, yeah, if you're gonna have that energy, you gotta have it in all of it. And I don't see any of them moving. Now, when they get close up, you, you do, but when you're this far back with that kind of lens and it's blurry, it's clearly, it, it, it looks like nothing's moving. 
Like even just back there, I saw someone walk by it because clearly this is, I just lost it. Clearly that was a real garden as was, I believe the other one. Uh, my point being, how, how can you have this kind of energy there, but not in all the rest? It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, it, nothing's moving here. Okay. Nothing's moving here. <laughs> like literally nothing's moving. Okay, so sure, nothing's moving here either. The light of the clouds is going overhead, so I don't know what else you guys need. Yeah, I feel like I feel like nothing we say is ever going to please these people. They, she could be out in public, and they'll be like, "It's a robot." <laughs> I just don't. I don't know what the goal is. And look, I'm one who will hear conspiracy theories. I got in trouble for calling out the Photoshop, which honestly I think was a mistake. But I, in hindsight, I, again, I've said it. I think it was a brilliant PR move to weed out the people who are going to put out Brazilian butt lifts and affairs and she's a lizard. They got to sort of really sense out who's being fair, who's being, who's paying attention, who's being unbiased, who's going dirty or salacious. And honestly, if they did that on purpose, I applaud them. I applaud them to, to imply that this is some sort of deep fake AI that now the BBC is involved in. They've now come forward and said, no edits were made to the video uh, they, they came forward. We would like to, uh, so they said BBC film, BBC studios filmed a message from the princess of Wales at Windsor this week. We would like to wish her Royal Highness a speedy recovery. Um, it's understood production team was asked to film after broadcast of the King's coronation, the queen's funeral. Um, but yes, they did it. And they've, they've said, no, they filmed it. Um, there were no edits. The PA Nugency understands BBC studios made no edits to the recording, had no editorial input in the message, and were not involved in the finished film's distribution. So not only would the royal family have to cover this, the BBC would have had to cover up, and now they've come and made this message clear. So I, again, the level of conspiracy that's going here, for what? I, I like to hear all things. I don't try to just write somebody off, but this is absurd to me. This is absurd to me that you're going to say, well, this video is real, and therefore... We have to follow this, and that's clearly her. It's it's not the same her. It's not the same person. The hair's longer. The stripes are different. Sure, maybe she had the same shirt, and she pulled up an old shirt she likes. Okay, sweater, whatever it is. That doesn't mean that's AI. It doesn't. The, just to, to claim that this is that is ridiculous. That bench isn't anywhere near there. She looks older, and I, I don't get it. There's actual cloud light and real stuff going on here to imply that this is some CGI shoot that the that they have funded. I, I, it makes no sense. It makes no sense to me. I see no evidence of it, and I'm getting frustrated by it. And this idea that she's faking cancer, or that the royal family—this is absurd. Absolutely absurd. I'm someone who actually humored it, and I'm glad I did. A lot of people gave me flack for trying to look at this objectively. And I have, I'm looking at this objectively. The only thing I noticed was the flowers don't move. I can't deny that they're not moving. But then when I saw that they don't move in the other footage, I was like, all right, I get What are we going to say? It's all fake. Even if they didn't have good AI then. So that's impossible. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you guys. This is ludicrous. This is ludicrous. If you're going to believe it there, believe it here. Here's the video in question. Let me go. This is, you can look it up yourself. Go watch this video. Go watch Catherine. Where is, sorry, I thought I had a, I thought it was right here. Go watch her step in and talk and ask why her flowers aren't moving there. Okay. There it is. I'm not tricking you. Why aren't they moving? <laughs> I don't know. And then they come back to it with all of them and it's the same. Nothing's moving. So what is it? Oh, I'm just sad seeing Harry there like this. Harry, you're what you've done to this family, all the things you've spread on them, the relationship you had with your brother and sister-in-law, it is just tragic that not only did you bail on them the way you did, and this no longer is like a, a group of family, you called her racist. You let your wife allegedly call her and her father racist as they're now dealing with cancer and now created this huge wedge as you grabbed all this money. It is shameful what you've done. The better question isn't where's Kate. The better question is where's Harry? Why isn't he addressing the African Park situation? Because honestly, anybody out there trying to peddle these conspiracies to me is clearly working within Megan Sugars to try to, to put this spotlight on to claim that the royal family's hiding something. And honestly, I've said it. A lot of people get mad at me. My own viewers, I'm not, I don't follow the royal family. I'm American. I don't, I respect them. 
But if I notice something they would do, I'd call it out. And it's important I not have that bias, guys, because then I can I, I can be fair. And the reality to me is I think this is all distraction, deflection. I can't prove it from Harry and Meghan, but if you missed my earlier videos, make sure you check it out over on Planet. <sighs> Meghan and Harry aren't, aren't looking very good, guys. But what do you think of all this? Are you getting frustrated too? Am I missing something? Uh, or should all this all these theories be thrown in the mud? Honestly, the the to me, the fact that this image, which they are declaring is the real one, has no moving flowers behind it. I'm sorry, I'm hitting the button. Debunked. You got no proof of it. You got to bring proof. You can't just make allegations. Uh, that's my thoughts. I want to hear what you think. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell for all alerts. Smash that thumbs up if you can and leave your comments down below. I try to look at everything fairly. This one I did. Trust me, I did. I don't see it. I'm not buying it. Tell me what you think down below and stay tuned for more royal coverage here on Popcorn Palace.